Hey guys, what is up? It's Tony here, or Lucas bringing you guys episode number 5 of my NHL 15 Hockey Ultimate Team Series. Uh, now, this whole episode is going to be pack openings, uh, so nothing too special. Uh, but I'll talk about some players I pull, because I'm going to end up using them in my lineup. And uh, at the end, something pretty special, and I'm really excited to show you guys finally. Uh, but, as you guys may notice in the top right, I'm on my second account, Don't Be Sad 20. Uh, because my EA Access trial ran out on my main account, Don't Be Sad. And uh, if you guys want to add me, go ahead. The Xbox One uh, has it so that it doesn't fill up my friends list with all uh, people adding me. So if you guys want to add me on Xbox, my gamer tag is don't space B space sod. Um, and then my second account is don't be sod 20. And then I have another account. Um, I don't even know what it is, to be honest, that I bought EA Access on the play. But um, you'll see those in the top right corner. Uh, but these are This is all me opening these packs. Uh, I think I opened about 30... The, $30 worth? $20 worth? I don't really know. I got a card. But as you can see right there, Ben Bishop, the most overpowered goalie from NHL 13 and 14. Finally got him in NHL four, uh, 15. Very happy I won't have to buy him because he's going to be pretty expensive nowadays at 88 overall. Um, but yeah, it helps to have a nice goalie like that. He's definitely going to be my starting goalie for a while. And uh, it helps that he's like 6, 7 or whatever that he is. Uh, but guys, I kind of want to talk to you guys about my hut series. Now, a lot of you guys wanted me to keep in all the games and stuff like that. But, uh, I've been doing, a, like I said, I'm on different accounts because my trial ran up, and I forget to record because I'm not used to having to record every single thing I do in HUT. So, I have made some moves that you guys will see in, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, the episode, uh, but I did have to make some, uh, I made some moves without recording, so I do apologize for that, um, I'll just tell you guys right now, um, I so in NHL 14, I gave Snipe Show HD, you guys may know him from Twitter, and he's a Twitch streamer, I gave him a shit ton of stuff for my collection, and I gave him like one point, I think I gave him almost two million pucks, uh, so he can get a nice returning bonus, and he ended up pulling three dot sukes. Three dot sukes. I know, so uh, he was nice enough to send me one over since I gave him all that stuff, uh, so I was able to get a Pavel dot suk, which is fucking crazy. And uh, with that Datsuk, uh, I was able to get a Phil Kessel. Uh, I traded Datsuk for Phil Kessel straight up. Uh, some of you guys may, may have seen that on Twitter. I tweeted out. But um, pretty insane if you ask me that uh, I was able to get Phil Kessel for Pavel Datsuk. If you guys didn't know, Datsuk's an 89 overall. And Phil Kessel's a 90 overall with 91, uh, or wait, 90 speed, uh, skating and 91 shot just a beast of a player it seems like and i'm really excited to have him on my team uh but a big shout out to snipe show i'll leave his twitter in the description down below and uh can't thank him enough but um yeah he still has most money show 14 stuff so uh, i guess it's a pretty fair trade-off but nonetheless guys keep i'm keep on opening these packs uh, as you guys can probably tell i'm quick selling most of it uh, i probably should have sold uh the lower end players like the 84s 85s because they always always go for around a thousand like you see vladimir sabotka goes for 2k um, so I probably should have sold him, but uh, nonetheless, uh, keep on opening packs. Michael Grabner is always a good pull to get. Uh, 90 skating, oh, so nice. But honestly, like I've said before, um, through my experience of playing online versus play and HUT, um, I really don't think speed's the only factor anymore. I mean, it's a huge factor, obviously, but I think strength has a huge component in this game because, um, I don't know, it just... I feel like if you have a skater that's strong, he won't get, I mean, obviously he won't get knocked off the puck, but I just feel like he won't be hit off, like, okay, I don't really know how to put it, but I'm just saying, I think power forwards are the way to go. I played with JVR, um, actually, I bought JVR off the market, forgot to tell you guys that, bought JVR off the market, and I ended up trading him for a Nathan McKinnon, and you can see right there, Zach Parise. I pulled a Zach Parise. Oh my goodness gracious. My first big, big pull of NHL 15. Zach Parise. Holy shit. But uh, yeah, like I said, I got a uh, I got a Nathan Kinnon for my JVR. And uh, that's going to be pretty important coming up here soon. But um, yeah, like when I played with JVR, he was really good. Uh, because protecting the puck is huge. And obviously, if you're strong, um, you're going to be able to protect the puck a lot better. Uh, but yes, yeah, some of these packs were pretty insane. And uh, I was lucky to get all these cards. Like that Parise, holy crap. Now, obviously, it's in the EA Access, so I don't know. No, There are no prices for players right now. 
Uh, but in the last pack here, I get a Kari Lettinen. And oh my goodness, these pulls have been off the charts. Uh, so I, I'm going to hold on to Kari Lettinen for now. I may end up using him as my starter. Uh, I know I just bought, uh, bought Corey Crawford, which kind of sucks. I may end up selling him when the game comes out, see if I can make a profit. But guys, as you can see right there, I'm trying to trade for a Jonathan Taze. I sent in my Zach Parise, Nathan Kinnon, and I think I end up putting all my pucks, like 10k. And, uh, yeah, this is actually a guy on Twitter. He, he, he told me, he's like, hey, I pulled a taste. And uh, I was able to work out this deal with him. Uh, Zach Parise, Nathan McKinnon, and 10K. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to give him 20K uh, on Tuesday when I'm back on my main account. But uh, I, I, unreal trade. I was so lucky to get this. And uh, so we have our first line center for pretty much the whole series. I'm never going to sell him. Uh, but guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know down below. If we can get 150 likes, that'd be great. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.